Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Rubber Tycoon. So on this uh, this time, I, s I said I was going to do some uh, station product uh, improving. Oh, look at you, Walsall. Why are you so backed up? Um, let me fix this real quick. When you get to Walsall, oh, that's your problem. You need to take more. Take more with you. Maybe do two pa three passengers. And you know what? Actually... When you get to Duluth, take another passenger train. Do that. Uh, anyways, uh, so I was looking at the map, and this Tulsa to Oklahoma City looks quite nice. I don't really have any uh, shared production, do I? Well, I do have... The power plant would turn this wood into paper, which I could just send back real quick. And maybe I could put in a... Oh, wait, you take coal too, don't you? Oh, wait, and take that turns into... Oh, that would be perfect. Actually, that'd be even more perfect than I was thinking it would be. But we're right there. Yeah, so uh, I think I'm going to rush here first. Before we do an improving. I have 800 grand, so it's not like we're running out of money. In fact, we're going to leave it on pause and while we do this. So let's go ahead and rush there. Does my money not... My money doesn't decrease while I'm on pause, does it? This is a... What is the economic climate? It's booming, I think. Yeah, it's booming. So this is going to be expensive. Oh, man, it's so expensive. I don't know if we're going to have enough to get there. Maybe I should wait for a recession. Is anyone nearby that could potentially take it? No. They could jump. That's, they're not going to jump that far. They're going to hit these old ones first. So let's wait until a recession before we do that. So let's spend some money. Uh, Indianapolis is okay. Oh, man. 12. Good God. I'm not keeping up with this at all. We gotta figure something out. Not keeping up at all. Um, both of them are together. Why is there a third one here? Oh, you're the priority guy. Okay. Now, why are you two sitting there? I'm gonna put a signal yard in the middle here. This is our first paper delivery. Hey, 18 grand. Okay, yeah, we're going to throw it in a station a signal yard real quick. Just keep, make sure these trains are moving. It's because we have an extra train on the on the track right now. Oh, wait a minute. You don't... Oh, look at that. Lose some of that paper. Okay. So we got the paper under control, looks like. In fact, lose a paper and gain a good... That's our problem. We do have 900 grand. I could pay back a bond. <laughs> we'll wait. Is Springfield looking better now that the train is there? It was a little... Yeah, it's okay. Until we get another train going. We'll get a train going from Springfield to Tulsa, and then another one from Tulsa to Oklahoma City. That'll be a good, a very good route. What is this right here? Fort Smith isn't too bad either. Oh, livestock! Which is... Which is you. Nice. Are you all full? Nope. You're gonna be a while. But you'll fill that up, and then this train will pick up your uh, food that you'll make. I'll do it. I don't know. Should I... Here, here's what, we should probably make this a little bit smaller. And then the St. Louis to... Where's it go? I cannot remember my town names. I think it's... Where is it? St. Louis to Springfield. When you're in... Oh, you already have it. I take that off. But I will put a... Put one on there. Unless you start moving faster, which isn't going to happen. I have over a million dollars. I'm rich. I'll pay back one of these bonds. There you go. That'll save me a little bit of interest every year. I could also buy stock in my company. Let's do that. We haven't done that yet. I could also buy stocks in uh, in the other companies if I wanted to buy them out. Because uh, $21 there, $28, $15. Look well, at this Vanderbilt guy. He's pretty cheap. My stock is expensive. 
I can't afford that. Oh yeah, <laughs> guess it's a lot of money. All right, what does let it be then? <laughs> I guess if you get to the point where uh, you do really bad, you can get kicked out. But I think we'll be okay. So this guy's making it here. And now, next time you come back to St. Louis, there will be paper for you. Uh, food. Food for you. Okay. Indianapolis. I think it's growing, too. It is growing. Man, there is such a cluster of trains. Um, I don't really need one here, but we're going to... I can do it there. We'll do it just to keep this route clear. That way, this guy will move now. Because if you don't have a signal tower, then it considers this all one track. So if there was a train over here and over here, it would. this one wouldn't move because of... It thinks this is on the same track. So you have to put these signal towers in to basically create a uh, um, break in the line. Here, yeah, cows showed up. Uh, I missed how much it was, though. So tell me if I do this. Repeat message. Can't build that there. All right. So I need one right here, too. Uh, I could probably use one on this side, too. So when this guy is here... Yeah, let's... I only 25 grand, so it's not too big of a thing. There we go. That way they'll start moving. They're buying shares of stock. No big deal. How is Wausau looking better now? You know, Gary has issues, too. Well, Gary, I have a solution for you. When you go to Gary, pick up pick up three passenger cars now. It's going to slow down your return time, but I think that'll be okay. We got, actually, we have two of them already going to Gary. You're not one of them. You are one of them. Uh, how about this? Each of you just pick up two. And that will relieve... Actually, that'll relieve everything. Boom times ahead. That's not what we want to hear. Oh yeah, yeah, we're in a boom, which means land and things are expensive. I don't know if there's a chart that actually tells you what the prices and things are, but you know, when you're in an economic boom, then land prices are expensive, and so it's real expensive to build a track. When you're in a uh, recession, then it's cheap. So ideally, you want to build during recessions and and sit back and let the money roll in during booms. Or take out bonds whenever the interest rates are super cheap. Still at 1.27... 1.3 million. We're making a lot of money. Uh, you know what? We'll pay back another one. I could probably repay both of them. We'll wait. Luth no longer wants livestock. That doesn't affect you any. That's not the one button I wanted to hit. Is there any new... You know, one thing you can do... I have not done... Is you can build industry. Oh, those weren't were those there before? Hmm. What if I do another one of these? And then just add to the steel that you're making. That no one is carrying away. You carrying away steel? Carry another one. This was I'm gonna do that. Yes. We're going to do that. Let me put it right here. Should I just continue this track? So have him say, come over here, pick up a few cars, whoop, drop off the second one, pick up a few more cars, and then head back home. That might be cheaper. 1.62, that was a big... Ow. Uh, oh, we got a lot of no-maintenance ones. It's our biggest year yet. Uh, who's not making maintenance? Did I not put one down here? I thought I did. You have one, right? Did I give you a maintenance yard? I didn't. A wait, I put it. Oh, I know why. Okay, so I I think I put one down here. 
Yes. But then this livestock guy isn't getting any maintenance. So put in a maintenance shop there. And do I have one somewhere in here? Nothing there. Evansville? Let me click the town already. No, it does not. Okay, so we're going to put one here in Nashville. That's a problem. I've been missing that. Maintenance shop. And yeah, there's a lot of improving I should be doing. Let's go ahead and do it. Nashville. I'm going to go ahead and give you a restaurant and hotel. And yeah, go ahead and do it a hotel. We have a million bucks. Let's spend it. Do that. And uh, yeah, go ahead and have a uh, post office while you're at it. And how are you looking? Do you have a train just left and you have a lot of stuff? Okay. This one. Yeah, you need a lot more than that. Pick up that. And you know what? Just do the same thing, actually. Oh, wait. That's food. Is that food? Is that livestock? That's the livestock you're making, isn't it? It is. Um, where's that livestock going to go? I'm going to skip those. It's going to go there. Which you cannot quite reach. Hmm. I could put a depot here. I could put a depot right there. And then as this train's coming back, it drops off. The livestock turns it into food and then it continues on to Evansville. Okay, so who was that? There was this one. Okay, so when you're at Evansville, Evansville is fine with that. Um, you're going to go Evansville. We're going to make you a limited. Evansville, and you're going to go to Nashville and pick up three passengers, a male, and a, um, what was it? Livestock. And way back from livestock, or from there, you're going to hit Evansville Valley. And just turn that livestock into food. Which will then go to Evansville. And it'll be good. Okay. Good. Alright, I'm tired of waiting. Let's do this. Springfield needs some help, too. Where are we going? I'm going to go somewhere right about there. Because you can use that coal... There it is. What was I right? Was I here? Nope. One more. Two more. There we go. Build a new station. Whoa. There, which gives us the coal, which we will then take, right? Yes. And the wood. We're producing wood and coal. Three and six, okay. And let's go ahead and continue. And go ahead and grab this one. Expensive. Over the hills. And I didn't get a grade thing. Grade message. And probably right about there, I suppose. Out of money. Man, that was close. We'll do our first train running from... Tulsa to Springfield. Then once we get Oklahoma City done, we can put a train between those two. Okay, you're going to go from there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Not priority. Nope, nope, nope. From Springfield into Tulsa. What do you... Do you take anything that he has? Like wood or coal? No, you don't. Pick up, uh, we'll probably do two passengers and a male. That should be enough to deal with them. 
we'll let Oklahoma City take the coal and the wood out as soon as we get it built. We need some money. So let's crank it up a bit. Yeah, Springfield is pretty backed up. How is everyone else? Actually, a lot of places are backed up. Nashville's very backed up. He's almost there. Let's see what he does when he gets here. Yeah, there's a lot there. Hmm. What is this? Our first wood food delivery, 18 grand. Okay. You, sir, where are you? Nashville to Evansville Valley. Take another passenger. Why are you doing that? I might have to load you down even more. Are we getting anything under control here? We're down to five goods in <laughs> Indianapolis. We still have seven mail cars here now, though. We cannot keep up with this. You. Uh, yeah. Do that, and I'm going to completely load you down. Actually, I'm going to train... What, what are you? You're a 10-wheeler. All right, you're turning into the bigger guy, the horsepower guy. There's no reason for Evansville to have a overload of people, though. That's for sure. Who is it I just did? You? No. Who was it? You? Yes. Uh, when you're there, grab another passenger. Yeah, no reason for you to have more. I feel back to... Evansville is... Which one's this one? Hey, 112 grand. I can finish my route now to Oklahoma City. I don't want that one. I want the other one. The Nashville guy. Oh, he's going... Because he's going there. Not that one. I clicked the wrong one. You! Uh, okay, when you're in Evansville, pick up another mail car. That'll work. Okay, let's continue to Oklahoma City here. Okay, so let's go there and build a terminal. First train arrives in Evansville Valley. Did it work? Mail from Milwaukee to Duluth. Oh, man, I got all kinds of things. Pick up mail in Milwaukee. And deliver it to Duluth. Which, we may not even need this guy. Because mail should be getting delivered there anyways. But we'll go ahead and send him. Go here. Build a station. We're going to do a terminal here. Might as well. Okay, and you do take the wood and the coal. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting train. We'll do this guy. So he, his job is not necessarily to carry passengers and mail away from Tulsa. Probably grab a passenger or two. But mainly the carrying the coal and the wood. This would be a nice quick trip, though. Which is perfect for things like coal and wood. So there's two coal spots and one wood. Am I right? I might have, I might have that backwards. Yeah, coal is the thing. And grab a passenger while you're there. And in Oakland City, grab two passengers and a mail. You're going to have a slow trip back because you need to also take the steel... That this makes and the paper okay and you take all this stuff right I think you do it doesn't demand steel did I look at that wrong this turns it into stealing paper whoops whoops what do I do And then, yes, you won't take the steel. Will you take the steel? You will, right? No, that's for, yes, you will. Okay, perfect. So then the previous guy, when you're in Springfield, oh, wait, when you're, when you're in Tulsa, take the two passengers and the mail and also take me two steel cars up to Springfield and sell them. And then in Springfield, you're going to take those goods back down to Tulsa. 
I can clap, click. There we go. Okay, so that makes sense now. Buying stocks. Springfield is backed up. Everybody's backed up. Especially Indianapolis. Wait, you have passengers and things? Why? Why do you have passengers? Do you have, is there houses nearby? Oh, there is! There's a stupid house there. Wait, that's not in the depot range. Are the passengers getting dropped off from... Oh, you know what's happening? What's happening is... This train coming from Nashville. Where is it? Okay, you're going to Evans Valley. You need to keep everything that you have already. Because he's dropping off his passengers there. And they don't accept passengers. Is that right? Four and... Yeah, that's right. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there's a new train there. Up to 700 grand. The Rocks Monroe. Are my main stations here? What about Gary? How are you looking, Gary? You could use lots of improvements. So let's give you some things. Restaurant. Post offices. Can I skip this animation? I don't think I can. Nope. I'll give you a post office and a hotel. There we go. Okay, you should be good. I could also put switching yards in some of these things. You know what? Actually, it would be beneficial having it here because there's two trains out of Indianapolis that would move out faster. So let's go ahead. You can have it. Anything to get Indianapolis serviced faster. Chicago is kind of tiny, but I will still give you some things. Might as well, we'll just spend some money. We'll just spend all our money on doing this. This will, this will hurt nothing other than our cash at the moment. You wouldn't benefit from growing with me, would you? No. Chicago is still... It, it hasn't really grown much. It keeps getting re, uh, industries and losing them. Yeah, I think I was saying this before. Um, you can actually build industries if you want to put something in. And then it, it may work and it may not. Just something to consider, especially with this like petroleum and stuff over here. Maybe we could do something with Green Bay with... Uh, I don't know. There's a little bit of petroleum out there, but I'm not sure if it's worth dealing with Green Bay just yet. Oh, you don't have anything in this town? Oh, man. What have I been doing? All right, restaurant, we'll do the the, uh, the trifecta here. And then we'll put a hotel in as well. I think I have Duluth taken care of. I thought I did. Of course, I thought I had this one taken care of, too. Uh, yeah, you have everything. You don't have a post office. That's something. I didn't look at what you have sitting in station here. What needs to be picked up? Gary no longer accepts livestock, now accepts coal. You do have a lot of steel there that's being slowly taken away. I miss things. Oh, it's a priority. You, buddy. Where are you going? You're going to pick up in Maylands from Chicago. And, oh, to Duluth. And you already got it. All right. All right, Thunder Bay to Duluth, which is this one, I think. Yeah, you need some help. Uh, oops. <laughs> You've been carrying the same supplies. <laughs> oh, you take steel? Do you really take steel? Oh, I completely missed that. Okay, this should be enough. And then you're also going to take two steel cars. We're going to weigh you down pretty heavily. Put on some goods. I think the 10 wheeler is still okay with this. For this. Yeah, that'll probably be good. End of a fiscal period. We have exciting music. How are we looking? Passengers. Almost a million bucks in passengers. Well, 700 grand, anyways. Everything else is slowly rising, though, so that's good. 
Um, we got some big money on facilities. Cost us some money. But we still made one and a half million bucks. Number 10, produce no revenue. Which one's number 10? Hey, my stock splits! Now I can sell my shares back. Maybe. It's still expensive. I'll try. I don't have money. Nope, never mind. No money. Well, let's try it. Let's see. Come on, broker. Nope. Uh, oh, I guess. Okay, yeah. I don't have anywhere near money. Anywhere near enough. Enough. Okay, so you're going to Wausau, Wausau and picking up that, which will hopefully clear you out. I'm going to put a cut here. We're at about 25 minutes, right? Yeah. So next time, we will see if we can take care of Indianapolis, which still isn't getting taken care of. Stop growing, Indianapolis. I can't handle you. Uh, another train? <laughs> another train? Maybe I need like a shortcut just straight from Indianapolis straight into uh, Nashville down here. And I can do another double route there. <laughs> I don't know. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.